Jesus! Thank God for his goodness and his mercies and his presence. Anytime we call on the name of Jesus and God shows up, heaviness has to go. Heaviness has to break. And we've been a lot of been in a lot of heaviness these past few months. But we thank God for his mercies toward us. His grace towards us. Thank God. Father in Jesus' name, bless your people. The breaking that we feel this morning, let it rest upon individuals, hearts, minds, souls, their purpose, their dreams, their visions, their desires. Those that need to be saved, God save him. Those that are out of the will of God, God snatch them out, bring them back home. Father, those that once knew you, but for whatever reason, they turn to go a different way. God, block that. Send them back to the house of God. Give strength, God, to those who are weak. Give faith, God, to those who lost faith. Give hope back to those that lost hope. Be glorified even in this father bless the word of god on this morning on this special day thank you god for your anointing that we feel let somebody accept you as lord and savior have their sins washed away in the waters of baptism even those that are watching by way of social media god let the grace and the anointing of god go through the social media waves Touch them right where they are. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in this we say in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to call your attention to the book of Galatians chapter number 5. Not going to be before you very long at all. Just give me a few minutes. Galatians chapter number 5. I'm looking at verse number 14 and verse number 15. Just two verses for today. Brother Jamon's going to read two verses today. And then we'll take our flight from there. And we'll see what, what we can put together on this particular day. Amen. Those that have your Bibles, Galatians chapter number 5, or your smart devices, Galatians chapter number 5, verse number 14 and verse number 15. We'll just read two verses there, and we will end our reading at verse 15. It reads, in your hearing, this is Paul speaking to the church of Galatia. He says, for all of the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, watch this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You had to preach this by itself. Verse 15, but if you bite and devour one another. Take heed that you be not consumed one of another. I'm going to read it again. For all of the law, everything that God represents is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, watch this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love your neighbor the way you want to be loved. Treat your neighbor like you want to be treated. Do to your neighbor like how you want things done to you. Thou, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Watch how Paul turns the corner. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you be not consumed one of another. I'm going to end 
my reading right there. I'm going to uh, pull uh, the idea of verse 14, the, the theme that this particular day has. Valentine's carries a theme of love and, and all these wonderful things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull that theme and of, of love from verse 14, but then I want to couple it with how Paul turned the corner from love and loving our neighbors as ourself and saying that the, the law of God, the fulfillment of God rests upon one word, love. Then he turns and says, but if you bite and devour one another, if you, if you bite and destroy, bite, devour, kill <clears throat> one another, he said, take heed. You're all going to be consumed. You're going to be consumed one of another. I'm preaching for the next few minutes, people of God. Your love is killing me. <clears throat> Your love is killing me. <laughs> this day across, across the world, uh, Sister Athena, uh, people are preparing for this particular day, this special event, Valentine's. They're going to be going out to dinner and uh, movies and uh, drive-ins and, and uh, lifetime movies and uh, whatever, whatever uh, places of, of events that they can go to. Uh, that's going to be happening <clears throat> on today. Hundreds of dollars uh, will be spent, have already been spent uh, on today with the flowers and candies and uh, little gifts and things. And uh, steaks going to be cooked today. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh -huh. Some of y'all going to be cooking some steaks and... Uh, Sister Net and maybe some lobster. I don't know. Just you know, maybe some garlic shrimp. I don't know. Just I'm just throwing some stuff out there. Uh -huh. Maybe some crab legs. I don't know. Just, just you know, things gonna be out there. Uh, um, and maybe some uh, maybe some little small potatoes and I don't know, Sister Carol. Just just I'm trying to think what people prime rib. I don't know. Uh, you know. Some of y'all might just do some ribs. I want some ribs. I don't, I don't want no steak. I want some ribs. I don't know. Just whatever. Many boxes of chocolate probably have been purchased already. And cakes and pies. And I don't know if Mother Perry made any cakes, but if y'all had Mother Perry's cakes and you didn't have something. Um, cakes and pies. A lot of, lot of dipped strawberries probably have been purchased already. Maybe even made yourself with, you know, somebody said Big Mama's. Big Mama's Cakes, right? Uh, a lot of things are going to be going on today, focusing on love. And we're, we're celebrating a new year also. You know, I know we're kind of two months into the new year. We're still celebrating uh, a new year when we've enjoyed this wonderful election uh, and seen some people leave, and seen some new people come. Uh, new administration, though they they still clowning a little bit, and we got past some some other foolishness on yesterday, but got past that. Uh, yet this past year has been a hurtful year of 2020. Hurtful year, not just physically, not just uh, people losing loved ones, Sister Heaven, and family members, and uh, going through your own personal. But it's been a hurtful year in in the world. Uh, our world last year was, uh, country rather, was rocked by something we saw on television with the, the pretty much a killing of George Floyd. It wasn't the first time we, we've heard of a black man being, being killed, but uh, you know, we almost hear it all the time, hear it all the time. But, but to, to, to watch it live and, and to see someone be killed, not by a bullet, uh, but to be pretty much choked out with someone, with a, with a police officer. I don't have time to go through all that. I know it's uh, Black History Month, so I guess we can't deal with it. A, a white police officer with a, his knee and a black man's neck uh, being filmed live, and we watched him take his last breath on TV, and, and it, it pushed a lot of us to the edge with the Holy Ghost, y'all ain't saying nothing, just pushed a lot of us to the, to the edge just to see that. Made us, made us have to go back and pray a little harder. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Still praying hard, because I'm, I'm going to detour. You, you can't focus on stuff like that too long. It'll it change your, 
it'll change how you think. It, it'll, it'll make you look at folk differently. And so we got to be careful. But we, we, we saw some heartbreaking things, hurtful things on uh, last year, racial discrimination and uh, racial disparity, police brutality among African-Americans, not just men, but also women. Amen. Women, who the young lady was shot right in her own, in her own house. Breonna Taylor shot kill, in her own house. How are you going to kill me in my house? Then, and then say, oops, uh, wrong, wrong person that we didn't. You, you can't get that person back on oops. Uh, government wickedness. Paul refers to it as wickedness in high places. He, he calls it that wickedness in high. And, and we, we saw it. We seen it just on January 6th. We saw that that uh, what they call the insurrection. And they tried to argue the point that uh, freedom of speech. Well, I agree. You do have freedom of speech. You can you can say what you want to say, but it might cost you something. You, you can you can say what you want, but but you might have to pay for what you said. And uh, uh, based on that, and uh, thousands of people went and and pretty much ransacked the the White House. Never saw that a day in my life. Not in this lifetime. That that never should have taken place. Can I be honest? If that was one of if that was us, we would have been shot on the sidewalk. We wouldn't have got we wouldn't have got on the grass. I don't understand how they got how they got how'd you get to the door? How'd you get we, we, okay? Uh, but 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 all of that, all of that build up, all of that, that it stems back. It, it it didn't start with Rodney King. That goes way back. It it, it goes back. There's a new show out called um, called Underground. I don't know if anybody watch Underground. It's, it's one of those, it's not a lifetime movie, it's one of those other own, it's on own Oprah Network. Uh, underground kind of focuses on Harriet Tubman and 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 all that. Uh, you gotta be careful watching that movie too. You'll get mad. Um, you'll get mad. But but it but it it helps it helps us to understand not just what's going on in the world, but the spirit that's in the world. We're really seeing the fulfillment of Scripture when the Bible says that the love of many shall wax cold. Bible he opens up by talking about said because iniquity shall increase shall abound the love that we ought to have toward one another he said is not going to be there anymore so over over 546 times the word love is used in the Bible and God has placed an emphasis on us to operate and to move and walk in love our horizontal relationship with God. Watch this. The Bible, Jesus said in Matthew 22, he said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all of thy heart. Horizontal, horizontal uh, love uh, or, or vertical love. Rather, we have love the Lord thy God. That there's a responsibility that we have to show love. He said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. He said, this is the first and great commandment. Then he said, the second is likened unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. People of, of God, there are three types of love. And I'm moving them right along. There, there's three types of love. And I know we know this. We're, we're biblical and we understand. There's three types of love. There is one love called agape love. Y'all know where I'm going with that? Agape love. That, that is the, the, the God kind of love. The love that only God can give unconditional love the love the love that only God can show only that type of love can be demonstrated by God then then there's a, a love called philios love that's where we get uh, the term or the name of that great state on the east coast called Philadelphia they call it the city what of brotherly love that particular love uh, sister Nina that love is the love that we have towards one another Mm -hmm. Because uh, God's love is vertical, that up and down love. That's the, the God, the, the love that God shows us that we're unable to show uh, to, to anyone else. Only God can demonstrate his love towards us. But then he said, but there is a kind of love that you can show toward one another called Philios love. That love that that is the love that man shows 
to mankind, how, how we ought to be, how we ought to demonstrate. Then there's eros love, where we get our word erotic. That simply means that's the love between a man and a woman. Notice a man and a woman. Notice the love between a man and a woman. Can I say that again? Notice the love between a man and a woman. Uh, uh, the, any, any other eros love that's not a man and a woman is nasty. And it's ungodly. Can't, I can't, can't get no help this morning. It's, it's, it's ungodly. The Bible said that, uh, that if, if man lies with man as he would a woman, it's not just sin, but it is an abomination. That's what the Bible says. He said woman can't lie with woman as if uh, it's man. It's, that's, that's an abomination. Then, then, then I, I know we don't talk about this and I, and I pray we don't have to, but the Bible be, even goes a little bit further. He says, he says man does not even lie with the beast. All right. I, I, just, I threw that out there because, because we, we live in a day and time now that people just say you can love who you want to love. You can be who you want to be with. But that is not but God shows us three types of love, agape, philios, eros, love. Watch this. But there's also three responsibilities of love. There's the, the love that God shows towards mankind. You understand that? The Bible says uh, that God so what? Love the world. What did he do? He gave. I know this is elementary to some of you. Uh, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Romans says, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us. In that why, watch it here, while we were, come on, help me, yet sinners. He died for us. First John chapter 4 verse 19 says, We love him because he first loved us. I know some of you say, well, I, I found him. You didn't find God. He was never lost. God found you. Saw you. Saw me. Saw us. Bound, tied up. In the muck and the mire, but his love reached down and pulled us up and our love. God died for the sins of the world. That's, that's God's love towards man. But then, but then God says that, that, that there's, there's, there's a responsibility that man also has toward God. There's a certain love that, that we have towards God. Deuteronomy says, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all of thine heart, all of thy soul, and with all of thy might. That's, that's our responsibility towards him, to love him. Don't give him partial. Don't give him a little bit. He said, but love him with all of thine heart, all of thy soul, all of thy mind, with all of thy strength. He said, this is the first commandment. He goes on to say, he says, Israel hath a death. The Lord thy God require. What, what does the, the Lord require of thee? He said, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways and to love him. God says this it's a requirement. It's a requirement. Not, not, only, not only do you benefit from, from God loving us, but God says, he said, I, uh, I, I, I need to benefit from you loving on me. Oh, God, I feel like talking here. Every time we come to the house of God, every time we, we call on his name, my God, and Lucretia sung under a supernatural anointing on this morning. I was teasing her uh, this morning. I said, Lord, I said, Lucretia, I said, if you speak in tongues this morning, I said, we, we, church is back open again. And I was, I, can't, I said it uh, just in, in jokingly, but the anointing fell. 
used her this morning to remind us of the love that we have even when we call on his name demons didn't like that kind of singing God I feel like talking here devils didn't like that type of singing my God uh, your, 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 your heaviness didn't like that type of singing because every time you come my God Trina when we come and we call on the name of Jesus whatever has had you bound whatever is in your mind whatever my God has been uh, trying to uh, get you to give up and walk away every time you call on the name of Jesus and notice notice that uh, that every time she said Jesus it got a little more intense it got a little more stronger because you can say Jesus my God and feel weak about it but by, by the time you get to number three number four number five my God you feel like you can run through truths I, you feel like you can run over walls now, now why well, I got my strength back because every time I call on the name of Jesus. I, he's reminding me of the love that he's given me. Not only the love, but he reminded me of the power that is in the name of Jesus. And, and this is what the enemy does not want from us. I, he does not want us to recognize God's love toward us. I, he does not want us to understand our responsibility of us loving back on God. He does not even want us to know that it is a requirement to love him back when God loves on you he says I want that love to come back to me he says when I reach out to you I'm expecting to get something back in return I, I feel like talking now people of God I just felt a door open up in heaven I feel like somebody's getting ready to be healed right in your seat why because of the love of God that was released in this house on this morning we have three responsibilities my God we have a God's love towards a man a man, uh, uh, God's love towards man, man's love towards God. Uh, and now we have man's love towards one another. People of God, isn't it something uh, how the devil keeps us fighting one another? Isn't it something I feel like talking now? I know I didn't hit a I didn't hit a nerve now, and I'm coming right down the street where the devil lives. Uh, my God, the enemy will love to keep us shouting but hating one another. Uh, he will love to keep us speaking in tongues uh, but not speaking in the English to one another. Y'all ain't helping me uh, in here. He will love to keep us, uh, my God, bound up in a pandemic type of mindset uh, to the point that we don't have to engage uh, with one another. Why? Because he even the devil knows uh, that there's power in our unification. Uh, there is power when we come together. Uh, people of God, we cannot allow the enemy uh, to cause us not to demonstrate the love that God has put inside of us. First John says, uh, he says, for God is love. Are you with me? Uh, he said, and this was manifest, the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world uh, that we might live through him he goes on to say beloved uh, watch it if God so loved us here it is uh, we ought also to love one another uh, notice the responsibility God says uh, he said I've been loving on you now uh, and now I need you to take the love that you have on the inside Janine uh, my God and take that God kind of love uh, and begin to demonstrate traded toward your brethren and toward your sister I know it's very easy to dislike folk it's very easy to hate on each other it's very easy to trip people up and I know we hide behind sister dancer we hide behind the umbrella of church hurt but the devil is a liar no there's some things that don't have nothing to do with church hurt my God some things based on the fact that we don't want to love and we don't want to forgive y'all ain't gonna help me in here my, my god but we cannot continue my, to allow the enemy not to cause us uh, to love one another the bible says um, he said no man has seen god at any time 
He said, if we, uh, uh, he said, God dwelleth in us for his love is perfected. Uh, he said, how, how can we uh, love God who we have not seen, uh, but hate our brother uh, that we see all the time? Uh, he said, if we love God, um, he said, if a man say, I love God and hate his brother. Uh, watch what the Bible says. I feel like talking now. Uh, he said, he is a liar. Uh, my God, he said, for he that loveth not his brother. Uh, whom he have seen how can he love God uh, whom he have seen none uh, he said this is the commandment that we have from him uh, my God that we who loveth God we got to love our brother uh, also watch what Paul said Paul said if I speak with tongues of men uh, God I feel like talking here and of angels uh, but do not have love uh, he said I become my God a sounding brass uh, and tinkling cymbals uh, he said if I if I have the gift of prophecy uh, and I know all mysteries and knowledge uh, if I have all faith to remove mountains uh, and do not love he said I am nothing uh, he said if I give my possessions my God and give all my money to the poor folk if I deliver my body to be burned and do not love he said it does not profit anything he said love is patient can I go on and preach now love is kind it is not jealous love does not brag love is not arrogant love does not act unseemly my God can I rest and park right there real quick love will not cause you to act a fool love will not cause you my God to misrepresent the love of God he said it's not unseemly it does not seek its own it's not provoked it does not take into account the wrongdoing of others in other words when you love somebody you don't always try to pick out the negative things first my God love says let me see what the good things you've done first my God he goes on to say he said that love beareth all things it believes all things it hopes in all things it endures all things love never fails he said but if there be a gift of prophecy they will be done away if there's gift of tongue they will cease my God if there's any knowledge that will go away he said now abide if these three faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love people of God this particular day can I go on and preach now this particular day uh, my God called Valentine's uh, when we are to demonstrate uh, some type of love uh, but God said it's not just Valentine uh, it's not just my God a little angel running around uh, my God with the little uh, bow and arrow trying to hook people up uh, oh, the devil is a lie uh, this type of love right here uh, this is a kind of love that God says uh, if you want power back in the church uh, you got to bring my love back into the church. If you want to see souls come back to the church, you got to get a love of God back in your heart. If you want to keep folk from leaving the house of God, he said you got to get out of your own mindset. Get out of your own wicked carnality spirit and get the love of God back inside of you. I believe that miracle signs and wonders can come back when we begin to love one another. I believe the church can bust at the seams when we begin to love one another. I believe that we can pull down racism if we can get the love of God back into us. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I'm tired of those of us that say that we have the love of God in us. But we got most saints now fighting one another and feel good about it. The devil is a lie, people of God. We've got to be better than that. You ought to look at somebody real quick and say, you can do better than that. Go on and tell them. Say, you can do better than that. My God, my God, the, the Bible lets us know here. He said, the new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. He said, by this shall all men know, my God, that you are my disciples, that you have love one toward another. 
another. He told us in First Thessalonians, he said, but as touching brotherly love, he said, you need not that I write unto you, for yourselves are taught of God how to love one another. People of God, I just rose to tell you on this Valentine's Day uh, that the kind of love that we've been displaying uh, that is not the love of God uh, that is of the enemy uh, I come to tell you uh, if that's the kind of love uh, that we're going to continue to show uh, then that type of love uh, my God is killing me uh, you ought to look at somebody real quick uh, and say neighbor you can't love me uh, and hate me uh, at the same time you can't want good for me and want bad for me at the same time you can't tell me to live and then go die at the same time you can't pick me up and stab me in the back at the same time you can't give me life and give me poison at the same time you can't wish me good and wish me evil at the same time you can't bless me to be rich and then curse me to be poor at the same time your love is killing me you can't like me and hate me at the same time you can't push me to do good and then trip me to do wrong at the same time you can't pull me in and then push me down at the same time your love is killing me I just came to make the devil mad that we will get the love of God back we will walk in love we will walk in power we will walk in strength we will walk in anointing you ought to look at somebody and say hey neighbor got the love of God on the inside of me and I heard Paul say for in this all of the fulfillment and the law of God is hanging on one word and that word is love he said thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself but if you bite and devour one another then we will we ain't gonna make it we got to bind envy we got to kill strife we got to take down division we got to bind debate we got to pray against wrath we got to stop backbiting we got to stop gossiping we got to stop jealousy we got to stop hating we got to stop all of it yo love is killing me I can't breathe I can't make it I can't walk I can't talk when you don't like me but if you love me then tell me if you want me to be better then tell me if you believe God is able to bring me up then pray for me but don't curse me don't down me don't trip me don't laugh at me your love tell somebody say your love is killing me but I got a word from the Lord no weapon I can't find no help no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper I gotta tell it it won't work I'm telling the devil whatever you try whatever you deem whatever you throw at us it ain't gonna work it can't work it won't work now we got too much love inside of us too much power inside of us too much anointing Woo. tell 
somebody. Say, love lifted me. I can't find no help. But when I was down and I couldn't make it, love, love, love lifted me. Love protected me. Love brought me up. Love. Woo! Tell somebody, love did it. Love did it. When I thought I wasn't gonna make it, love did it. When I thought I couldn't do it, love, love, love. Love. I said love. It'll protect you. Love will keep your mind. Love will keep your heart. Love will keep your anchor. Love. Love. Paul said, Paul said, all of the of the law is fulfilled in one word. Love. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. It's one thing to talk about God's love towards man. For God so loved the world, gave his only begotten son. There's something else when we talk about man's love towards God. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. For this is the first commandment. But then when we talk about loving each other, we've got to preach harder on that. When you say, God loves, oh my God, God loves me. Then we say, you got to love God. Oh God, I love you so much. Then the Bible says, love your enemies. What? Here we go. The devil is a lie. But he gives us a principle. He said, love your enemies. Now we need prayer. God, you, you had me when you said you loved me. You pulled me higher when you said love, love him. But then you said love my enemies? Then you said, don't just love on them. He said, pray for them. Pray what? Don't just love them. Don't just pray. Then he said, bless them. Bless them. Your love is killing me. Because it's not complete. We have the love of God towards man. We have man's love towards God, but we can't find man's love towards man. Sisters, brothers, that, that, that type of love we need help with because that's what's hindering where we're trying to go to. Because you can't, the Bible says, he said, you, you can't love God vertically and then hate your brother horizontally. Vertically is this way, vertical, loving God. But, but 
loving loving God vertically watch it it hinges on loving our brother horizontally he said because you can't love God and hate your brother they th this this has got to equal this you can't have this and not have this because he said if you have this and don't have this he said you're a liar He said, you're a liar and you and, and you you say not the truth. That's 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 the Bible. He said, you you are a liar and you don't tell the truth. That's like being a liar twice. You are a liar and you don't tell the truth. You lie twice. He said, you are a liar and you t and you, you don't tell the truth. That's a double whammy. Oh, that's like being cursed with a curse. Are you with me? But Paul says, and I'm done. We out of here, y'all. He said, if you bite and devour one another, take heed. Take heed. Watch. Sit back and watch. He said, you're going to be consumed one of another. He said, I told you what to do. I told you. I gave you the understanding about love. He said, all of my word, my law, it hinges on love. Then he says, love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor. Treat somebody right. Treat somebody right. Well, what if they don't treat me right? The Bible says, he said, do them right. He said, you, you heap coals of fire upon their heads. Love will always conquer. It'll always keep you. But Paul says, love your neighbors yourself. He said, but if you bite and devour and kill one another, he said, you're going to be consumed. The whole, everybody going to be gone. Your love is killing me. How you loving me is killing me. How you're not loving me is killing me. This is the message that God wanted to give to us today. On this particular Valentine's Day, we talk about love. We're talking about steak and lobster and shrimp and, and potatoes and stuff. He said, but when you come back and see your brother and your sister, he said, love on them. I'm going to tell you one more reason why we need to love. I'm out of here. Because we don't know if we're going to see each other the next time. We got so many people that, are, that we see today and they can potentially be gone the same day. And we don't want to end on a sour note like, oh my God, I... I should have, I, I can't even apologize to him. I can't tell him I love him. I wanted to call him. I should have called him. If God drops somebody's name in your mind, call him. Just say, you know what? I'm just, I was thinking about you. Just want to give you a call. Let's you know I'm thinking about you. I love you. I, don't, I didn't want nothing. So I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about you. If God puts somebody in your heart, in your mind, just give him a call. Send him a text. I love you. Just letting you know. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. I'm done. The last words when we had, we celebrated Elder Harry Hodges' home going. I'm done. The last conversation we had, I called him. He was in the hospital. He answered. And he said, oh, Bishop, I'm in here. Got this breathing thing on. I said, I'm praying for you, Elder. He said, thank you, Bishop. Then he said, Bishop. I said, yes, sir. He said, I love you, man. I said, I love you too, Elder. Those are the last words we shared. Last words we shared, and I appreciate that. Those words. I just had no idea that that would be the last conversation that we would have had. But I was grateful that the last conversation we had was that conversation. People of God, let's continue to love. Not just on a special day. Let's love every day. Let's love every day. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you praise. We thank you for reminding us on the power of love and how it works, how it should work, how it can work, how it will work. Your love towards us, our love towards you, our love towards one another. Thank you, God, for even reminding us what happens when we don't demonstrate and show love we become we, we devour each other I pray God that our words will be seasoned with grace 
our love will be laced with your presence. I pray, God, that every motivation that we have would be seasoned with your anointing and your purpose on it. Help us, God, not to, not to be jealous and envy of one another, but let's appreciate it. Appreciate the God, the Godness in other people. Gifts and callings come without repentance. We need you today. Not just on Valentine's Day, but we need you every day. Thank you, God, for loving us. Thank you, God, for your love lifting us. We give you praise and we bless you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you're watching by way of Facebook or GiveLify, and, or not GiveLify, but Facebook and YouTube, and you're not saved, you can accept Jesus in your life right now. You can just, you just pray, Lord, I'm, I'm a sinner. I'm, I'm not right now where I need to be, but I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. I repent of my sins. I've said some things wrong. I've done some things wrong. I've been wrong places. And, but let your blood cover me. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. God, I'll, I'll be your child. And as soon as I can, I'm going to have my sins washed away. In the waters of baptism in the wonderful, powerful name of Jesus. That's all you got to say. You make yourself a candidate of salvation. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, the Bible says. Salvation is neither even in your mouth. Open your mouth and declare Jesus as your Savior. He'll forgive you of your sins. He'll change your name, change your heart. And put you in the Lamb's book of life. Father, we bless you and we thank you again. God bless everybody. Have a wonderful day this day. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you. I am Bishop T. David Dockery Sr. And I approve this message on this love day. God bless everybody.